Welcome back to Hucho's. Today on Hucho's, we'll be unboxing, reviewing, and par testing this. This is the Samfon 480 watt full spectrum LED bar style grow light. Okay, so the guys out at Samfon sent me out this grow light for review, and it's actually rather cheap. So I'm interested to see the efficacy that we can pull out of this light. So first things first, discrete packaging, which is always a bonus. And it's well protected. Look at that. That is a nice, easy to unpack light. How easy was that? Zero assembly, straight out of the box. The build quality is pretty good as well. There is absolutely no bells and whistles on this. You've literally just got your bar LED, aluminum light, and a dimmer. What more do you need? Comes with this box, which will have... Oh, beautiful. Australian power cord. Hangers. RJ cord for daisy chaining and some instructions. Okay, so let's discuss some of the features of this grow light. This is the Samfon 480 watt full spectrum grow light. It is a passively cooled bar style foldable LED grow light that sports SMD 330 LED diodes plus Osram red diodes spread across a passive heat sink, which is in the bar style, where the diodes passively transfer heat through a PCB into a thermal paste, which is then dissipated through the aluminum heat sinks on the back of the boards. The diodes consist of 3000K warm white LEDs, 5000K cool white LEDs, 660 nanometer red LEDs, and 760 nanometer infrared diodes. The light is daisy chainable to be dimmed. So you can have an outside controller that controls these lights in an array and it also has an individual dimmer switch on it, which dims from zero to 100. The coverage for this light is a four by four area in flower, and the height that you will be hanging that is between 12 and 18 inches. The claimed efficacy for this fixture is 2.7 micromoles per joule, and the claimed PPF is 1,296 micromoles. So let's hang this light over a PAR sensor and test its efficacy in the real world. So I'm setting it at, oh, it's already there, uh, 13 inches, um, which is 12 inches plus the power sensor. Wow. And it's in a four foot by four foot area. I'm gonna leave this on for a little bit. I'm gonna put some tape on it so we can test the temperature. Okay, so I've taken the power results. I'm now going to test the light. It's been running for a fair while now. And on the outside heat sink, we have 48 degrees Celsius, which is 119 degrees Fahrenheit. Too hot to hold. On the internal light, we have 52.9 degrees Celsius, which is 127 degrees Fahrenheit. And on the driver case, we have 33 degrees Celsius, which is 92 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's running warm. Uh, whether that means that it's doing a good job of getting the heat away from the diodes um, and into the heat sinks, that may be the case, but it is going to be a warm light in a grow room. And from the wall, we can see that it's pulling 473.3 watts, so 473 watts from the wall. Okay, so I've tested the PAR 
I've made a palm up and that is right here. We average that palm up out to 814, times it by 1.44, and then divide that by the watt draw, which is 473. And we get a really interesting efficacy. The efficacy is 2.48 micromoles per joule. Now that is a really impressive efficacy from a relatively cheap light. I think it's under 400 US dollars. So it's definitely a budget light, but it seems to be putting out a ton of par and I'm quite impressed with it. I'll leave a link in the description below to where you can purchase and happy hydroponicking. I'll see you next time on Who Chose.